World Cup defeat still lingering in the memory. Waste and Samoa in Cardiff in 1991. The whole of Samoa eight years later, and they were very nearly tipped up by Fiji a year ago today. Rescued by a Nicky Robinson drop goal, a very nervy 11-10 win, and that bunch of managers will know that this team have a test today, led out this afternoon by Duncan Jones, the Neath Swansea Osprey, the captain back in the starting lineup and leading his country for the first time at home. He skippered them for a couple of tests in Argentina over the summer. Very, very proud moment for Duncan Jones. The combined might of Samoa, Fiji and Tonga playing together for the very first time in the Northern Hemisphere. They came together once before a couple of years ago to play three tests against a very strong New Zealand, Australia and South Africa setup. But this is a real opportunity to showcase Pacific Islands rugby. And the teams walking out together on the 11th day of the 11th month before the thunder and lightning of the match, we will have a moment's reflection on Remembrance Weekend, Semo Satiti doubtless giving particular thought and Simon Raiwalui to the South Sea Islanders who fought with the Anzac Nations, Australia and New Zealand in World War II. They have their own Anzac Day services in April. And the two captains, Jones and Raiwalui, will lay reeds on the 10 metre line before we have a moment's pause, a moment to remember the millions who've lost their lives in wars around the world and to remember those who continue to lose their lives in conflict today. Your attention, please. Every evening, since 1928, at precisely 8 o'clock, the last post, the traditional salute to the fallen warrior, has been played under the Menin Gate Memorial in Belgium. This daily tribute, performed by a team of local buglers, serves to honour the memory of the soldiers of the British Empire, who fought and died in the immortal Ypres salient during the First World War. Today will be the 26,835th day of the last post ceremony in Belgium, while here at the Millennium Stadium it will be our second Remembrance Day test. Please will you stand for a minute's silence on this Armistice Day as we honour those men and women who laid down their lives so that we could be free. Included amongst those who fell were hundreds of Welsh rugby players and supporters and the following 16 Welsh rugby internationals. Charles Taylor, Billy Green, Richard Williams, Lou Phillips, Dick Thomas, Johnny Williams, David Watts, Charlie Pritchard, Horace Thomas, Brinley Lewis, David Westacott, Phil Waller, Fred Perrett, Cecil Davis, John Evans, and Morris Turnbull. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. The last post.
Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. A special moment, uh, a world premiere if you like, the Sivatau, the traditional Pacific Island challenge, as we've never seen it before. It's made up of the most aggressive elements of the hackers from Samoa, Fiji and Tonga. They've been busy practicing their steps on the bus to and from training this week. We'll see how the practice has been going. to Alangi on the left-hand side and uh, I followed the bus on the way back from training on Tuesday and it was rocking by a traffic light and the the locals were wondering what on earth was going on. Now accompanied by the band of the Royal Welsh Regiment and the Morriston male voice choir here's Wynne Evans singing My Hen Wlad Vern Hadai. than stirring. Now there have been one or two concerns this week that Wales are taking a risk making so many changes to last Saturday's team. Coach Gerald Jenkins prefers to see it as a graphic illustration of the depth of the squad. There are certainly one or two countries not so far away who might cast an envious eye over this supposed second string. It's an entirely different set of forwards with flanker Alan Wynne-Jones playing in his first test at home and prop Chris Horsman free of the red tape that stopped him appearing last week. Wales' latest fly half hero James Hook is shifted to centre today to give Kerry Sweeney a rare start at 10. Sonny Park has been persuaded out of international retirement. He partners Hook in midfield. Now the Pacific Islands, the British Lions with palm trees if you like, and although they're only together for a week, this is a pack that will more than stand its ground. Simon Raiwalui, Semo Satiti and Nili Latu all capped in their individual countries. Three of them play in the English Premiership, another three played against the Lions in New Zealand. In the backs, plenty of big rockets with short fuses. Lummi Fartau and Silosi Tangithak in bow promise to leave vapour trails up and down the wings. Amongst those sitting impatiently on the bench, the 22-year-old Clenethley Scarlet centre Gavin Evans, wondering if today will be the day he makes his Welsh debut. Our referee is only 27, England's Wayne Barnes, one of the youngest in the business. Donald Courtney and Rob Debney patrol the touchlines. Well, it rained through the open roof yesterday evening. It's been dry and blustery so far today, and the second of this autumn's Invesco Perpetual Test Matches gives Johnny Wales Rowan, a golden opportunity to win for the first time in nine months. It's the Islanders who kick off, and Kerry Sweeney Waiting in red blades. playing at 10, who gets away a first clearing kick, and we will begin the challenge with the line-out. 
Make sure you wait two for teams, that. really, Jonathan, who will be getting to know each other over these opening ten minutes. Please? Yeah, I think so. And um, the main the thing left. for Wales is, as, as we all know, it's trying to keep everything out. tight. Line out when you line out. No, carry the ball well and uh, and keep the scrums tight. Three, two, one. Now, Henry Schwolger, the Wellington and Samoa hooker, throws in and it's stolen immediately by Gavin Thomas. The Sam Islanders worried about the line out all week. They've kept it simple. This is Alex Puckham charging down the wing. Gathers drives to the line and does he score? Lost forward from Red. It was lost forward. Wayne Barnes saw the knock on. First reaction there. If he holds on. Does momentum carry him over the score? I thought he panicked a little bit. If he'd have kept onto the ball, would he have scored? Just watch him. He's there, he's there. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I think he... Take the hit, please, Red. It was a worrying start for these Islanders. They knew that the line-out might be a worry. They kept things simple. And hold. Free kick, Red. Now another area that they've been concentrating on, the scrum. The free kick goes against Wales early on, though, and it's driven forward by the uncapped Tongan, Halle Tipole. This is Salala Mapasua. Inside to the fullback Norman Lingiri, the Fijian with 41 caps, influential 31 year old. Did you recall him being your man of the match when Fiji came a calling a year yes. ago? Well, I think uh, one of them playing open rugby, but slightly suicidal at the moment. Taken in by the skipper Simon Raiwalui, cleared by the fly half Tusi PC. Still on fine touch. That's a fine touch. This is Morgan. Inside to Michael Phillips. He is a, a big lump at nine. We'll remember him playing so well against the French at the back end of the Six Nations. Had his best match for Wales, Phillips. And he's back at scrum half today. Dwayne Peel watching on. Ball inside from James Hook, who was clattered. Be very careful. And he was clattered late by Seru Rambini. Careful. Well, what's we gonna get? Taken quickly by Phillips Wales. No, hides, roll away. Running rather than going in for the three points that were on offer. Number eight. They'll have another away, penalty. Be positive. Tipole, the one. Finger for not go rolling for away now. Yeah, they go might for go up. for the points. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. Already spoken to Ray Tipole. Biggest day of his rugby career so far, although he nearly inspired Southlands to a famous Number win against eight, the British Lions. Away. Last summer, he scored a try in a match that Gavin Henson will remember. He scored a couple of tries himself a the week before the he was left out of the test side. But Tipole comes with a really. reputation, as do so Under many the of these Islanders. But kick. here's a moment yeah. for Kerry Sweeney. Year after his 27th cap, he wins his 28th. He's not started at 10 yeah. for two years in a test match. This is what he was brought back for. Kicking well this season in the Celtic League and kicking well early on against the Pacific Islands the pressure brings the first three points of the afternoon they go to Wales it's Wales three the Islanders nil well a lot of confidence for Sweeney okay on you Restarts taken in by Popham. Run away six! Starting now at eight for four of the last five matches. Here's Sweeney Waiting. with the long clearing kick. Won't find touch. This is Tipola and he knocks on. Forward, wait for your backs to bring oh, you we on. We had please. four days to train this week all a little bit rusty after the long trip from the other side of the world and he will be furious with that in his bag at Tonga's door now rather than New Zealand having committed himself to the Pacific Islands nothing legally binding about it he might still one day play for New Zealand but they made a moral commitment to play now for the Islanders as Wales bring the ball away lovely ball from Sonny Parker clearing up to Jones on the left wing ball cleared forward and uh, well, Lingiri needed to be aware, and he was, but Wales breaking quickly and with intent. Well, they can't defend, you know, 
man on man that far out. That's what happened, and you got Mark Jones free on the outside. Did well to get back. You got Let it. Him run. Sweeney. There's nothing they can't do. Kick loosely. Let him run. It was a problem at the opening stage of the game yeah, the Australians okay. last Saturday. Some loose kicking cost them. Didn't really settle early on against Australia either. That would have been one of the watchwords. Waiting, waiting well, they didn't have much um, possession last week. Australia totally yeah. dominated the first 20 minutes possession and territory. I think they won't have Bring that up. problem today. Yeah. Kick from PC doesn't find touch. Morgan almost up to halfway. Ball was lost forward. This is Moses Rylooney, the Saracens fly half, the Fijian. The support of Nili Latu, the Tongan captain. So much experience in this Islands team, it's just a question of gelling. Can they come together to mount a real challenge to this new look Welsh team? Morgan, long clearing kick. That'll be picked up by the rumbling figure of Seru Rambini. The injuries prevented him making much of an impact at Leicester during his two years. He's having to work hard to get that ball Red, back. 15, but keep rolling, please. Gabby Morgan has been penalised for not rolling away in the tackle. 15 red, clear the tackle zone. Well, they showed their intent, haven't they? The Pacific Islanders. You, so whereas no, now, no, you've got to switch on when the chase. You've got to keep that line. Nobody rushing up out of the defensive like line. Right. They should cope with it. They're very, they are very, very dangerous runners. This is what uh, will happen. Boom. That is high, and he is very, very lucky that that wasn't a yellow card, Rabini. Very early in the game, he was late and he was high. That hook took it on the chin, so to speak. So Cole rising highest at the tail of the line out, and this is Salala Mapasua, signed for London Irish a month or so ago. Creates big holes if he can, as no will hand. this man, another London Irish star, Salosi Tangithak in bow, inside to the fly half Tusi Pisi, who plays for North Harbour. One of the young cap players in this team, not many of them. There he is again, PC wide out. And Geary taking the long way round. No, no hands! So many of these players as well, Jonathan, with the experience of the seventh the circuit, that's where they made their names, and they are explosive no, runners. Lingiri is no, no, one no, of them. Still in, still in, wait there. They still have possession. PC, wondering what his options are. Run Daniel away, Leo, the move, move, Wasps move. lock. No, and Joe no. Worsley out of the Wasps side at the moment. No mean operator, Leo. Impressed for Samoa a year ago in these parts. This is Nili Latu, the Tongan away, skipper. No Best Back phase of play sure. from the Islanders so far. PC inside to Mapasua. Leo was on hand and ball pass. just drifted forward. Yeah, they're good line. They're playing lateral and keeping the ball well, well, but there's pass. no one really getting ball over that game line. Enough, enough. Good defence by uh, by Wales so far. Now let's find out what's happening on the touchline. Sonny McLaughlin has news. Yes, Inoki Afiaki wearing his Tlanethli colours with pride today. Captain of the Pacific Islanders two years ago. Inoki, what are your expectations of them two years on? Yeah, they've come over here and uh, I mean the, the preparation hasn't been that great, but uh, the, the lads are professional rugby players and it's a little bit like the, the Barbarians team, the British Barbarians team, where you've got excellent players that uh, join, join forces and uh, it shouldn't be too long before we see the ball really being spun wide. Um, but they, they made a few mistakes to start off with. Uh, that, that's, that should change, hopefully. Everyone's hoping for, for a lot of tries to be scored today. Thank you. I was watching James Hook in training back. yesterday evening, and he yeah, gives the you. ball a wallet, doesn't he? He has all the facets to be a terrific player. We don't want to heap too much on his young shoulders just yet, but yeah, it all seems to be in place, Jonathan. Yeah, a lot of pressure. Got all the skills in the world. It's just a, a question of controlling a match. That's what he's got to... You know, learn at the, at the regional level, and maybe that's why he's not on the run at, uh, at 10. Sean Connor's playing well. He just needs to read the game, understand the game. He did it last week. More games. Hook's first start in a home test today as Lingiri struggles to hang on to the ball. It's picked up by Michael Owen, playing it in the second row as Michael Phillips drives the ball forward and 
Boateng back in bow on the wrong wing, needed out in defensive detail. And this is Rambini held up though, 15 metres from their own line, and there was panic stations. Ireland tackle is not rolling away. Wales Number have the 10, penalty. Come from your side, please. I take the points again. I would build a score, give it a confidence. Gate, I think confidence is so high in the squad, they're going to go for the catch and drive. No screaming today. Kerry Sweeney playing today with Stephen Jones nursing his knee oh, ligaments. Up. Jones might Gaps be back for Canada. I suspect more likely Here's New back. Zealand. Here's your hook up. Big day for Here's Kerry Sweeney. Up. Big day for Reese Thomas as well. Challenge to improve his accuracy at the line out. It's the reason he wasn't playing a week ago. And that one will do. Finding Rob Sadoli, the front jumper. And now the drive comes on. Challenging the Islanders to an arm wrestle with the Advances try line in sight. They'll have a penalty. Simon, back you go, Captain. Still in control, still in control. Still playing your advantage, Red. Your advantage. Now they've got to back use the feet. ball. It's on the floor. Phillips to Sweeney. The advantage is still there as if they can't make the most of this, no which Hook can't. The side and, collapse. and we'll come back for a catalogue of offences. In on the wrong side, collapsing them all. They all lead to one thing, in a penalty side, for Wales. Will they go again or will they go for another man. try? Well, no, interesting decisions. Scores on the board might settle nerves. Clearly Wales feel they don't need to settle nerves. They have the confidence to take this big Pacific Islands pack on. Thomas needs to get the throw right first, and he does. Again, they go to the front. It's picked out by Owen. It's good defence, really, by the Islanders. Duncan Jones. Good run, Duncan Jones. Phillips. Barges over. Does he get the touchdown? Moses Rylooney was underneath. Time off. Now, what does Wayne Barnes have to say? Can you tell me if that's a try, yes or no, please? We don't believe it is, so can you tell us yes or no? Well, that's usually what you want from the TMO. George Clancy from Ireland is in our trucks in the car park watching these pictures, and he will decide if Michael Phillips gets the ball down, and no, you can see that he doesn't. And well played, Moses Rylooney, the 31-year-old, using all of his experience to and rescue also, the Islanders. Yeah, and also the hand of uh, oh, Simon okay, Rowe Louis in there, isn't it, somewhere? Okay. Yeah, that's a good tackle, because Michael Phillips is a tremendously strong ball carrier and runner, so... But you know, that's never, ever a choice, so let's get on with the game. I'm going to come that side next time. Well, we said it before, he is like Wayne, can you hear me? Yes, I've got you, George. Six foot three. It He's is a not a try. Loser. Thank you, held up over light. No try, scrum, red. A combination of Raul Looney and yeah. Rai Walui mean that it remains at 3-0. Now Square, then, please. we've got the two come line notes. Let's see how hold. strong the Welsh scrum is. Let's go. One area where they'll want to dominate. Same ball. Well, it's an interesting area, this, you because I was talking to Mike Casey, the square. scrum coach yesterday, who has observed how the Welsh back row Come sometimes down. hang off the Brown scrum, and they Engage. think that if it isn't an eight-man shove from Wales, they'll have the opportunity of causing some damage here. And the penalty goes against Chris Horsman. <coughs> Just well, Duncan Jones suggesting there might have been a the punch in the middle down. of that. Yeah, Horsman, quite surprising there. That would be one of his strengths. Horseman the near side, up against Justin Vaa, the Glasgow Warriors and Samoan prop, and it's Horseman who's been penalised. Guards, guards still good? Thank you. Just a little bit more, please. Sorry. Thank you. And we saw the Welsh scrum more, perform please. wonderfully in a similar position against Australia a week ago. It was a match-saving scrum, wasn't it? Won the ball back, but that one needs improvement as Tipole takes the ball in at the line-out for the Islanders, who... Been playing for nearly 15 minutes and trailed by just the three points. Harry Sweeney's early penalty. Not the side. Hands away, Red. Up by Satiti. One of the players who has experience of playing in Wales had a spell with Cardiff. And this is Tacky Thackenbaugh, who is a, a terrific runner if he gets the chance, and the tackle needed to be made by Sonny Parker. Ball still back on the Islanders' side, Rambini to Mapasua. 
the scrum, the fly half PC takes them up to halfway. Ball's loose, and Wales have turned it over. Sonny Parker back in the Welsh row, picked up by Mark Jones. And, ooh, the tackle was from Mapasua, and it was the numbers no. Taken on by Jones, Alan Wynne Jones. Still got a bit of pace out wide. This hook out to Jones, who gives and goes. One man to beat. Goes around Norman Lingiri. He's great. been scoring some cracking tries this season. Mark Jones, the Flanethley Scarlet. And in the week he celebrated his 27th birthday. We will go to the video referee. Can you tell me a lot of people a say yes that. No? He Just was unlucky not to get his place last week. He is certainly on fire playing for the Flanty Scarlet. And he absolutely skinned two players there. Let's just check if his foot is on the line. The referee is watching this. That big black line across the screen. Well, oh gosh. Well, it's close, but it's not on the whitewash. Again, checks, backs his pace, and he's never in touch this time, is he? Oh, that's the earlier one, that's like the earlier one. That is, if he goes another angle from that angle, let's see. On the line is out. That in my way there. Ooh. That's a try, isn't it? You've got to give benefit of the doubt. I think, he's not, you've got to give it. I think that's a try. It's the right heel there, which I think is just infield. The decision is George Clancy's. So that is a fantastic finish for a winger, that is. Fantastic finish. I saw him score one of the tries of the season so far against London Irish. He skinned Topsy Ojo on the outside, playing for the Scarlets in the Heineken Cup at the Medeski Stadium. And he's done it again. Norman Lingiri showed him the outside route, and Mark Jones bought the ticket. That's a try, you've got to give it no. You know, that, that is world-class finishing, you have to say, you know, that's very, very difficult to score and, and skin two players from there. That, you've got to give it. There is no evidence not to give it. He's touching the line, he's out. Sam is adding his threepence worth, he says he was in touch. We're going to have George, one more look. George Just Clancy, one more look, not sure. Thank you very much. I guess one if more look. you've been asked to give a decision, you might as well get the right decision. He needs to make sure in his own mind that Mark Jones doesn't clip the touchline. We'll have one more look. What do you think? No, he doesn't. I've seen it enough now. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't see why the try shouldn't be given. That's the thing. When That's, I have a decision, thank you very much. Here Here he is in play. You may award a try. OK. Eventually, we get the decision, and Mark Jones scores the first try of the day. Career that was nearly ended by two horrific knee injuries. He's scoring again for his country. Kerry Sweeney. 8% kick it record in the Celtic League this season. Great strike. And a 100% kicking record in this match so far. Jones is tried, and the two points for the conversion mean Wales lead by 10 points to nil. And As the ball comes arrived. out, you know, we can keep it running, keep it running, keep it running. It's recycle the ball very, very quickly. And as the ball comes to him there, stop it there. This guy is a back row forward and the space is down the touchline, you know? So it's a fantastic run. He just stands him up and goes on the outside, but again, he's got another problem with the full-back. Does him as well. That's a great try, but the awareness to spot the back row forward, first of all, superb wing play. White ball, nice big gap there. all that was going on, the Pacific Islanders have made a substitution. Salosi Tangi Thakimbao, the London Irish left wing, has gone off. Three man, I've told you. Oh, he is with his leg up, and it looks as if it's a problem with his left thigh, doesn't it? And he's been replaced by the Saracens back, Kameli Katuvu. 
So an early change for the Rises Islanders, and they've conceded a try as well. And they're 10 points down with 16 and a half minutes Come gone on. here in Cardiff. Advantage over. Run away, no hand. Keep the rolling. Wales 10 metre line. Run away. Right, Looney waits. Back feet, make sure for the captain. forwards to do the dog work at the away. moment. No problem. And the ball was spilt no, forward. No fall back at home. Which was noticed by Robert Sadoli. Shout at me, please. Yeah. Not the greatest no, kick. Okay. In hindsight, should have kept it in hand. There you are. Straight kick. The idea was good. No full back. Ligari was uh, in the defensive line, but just hooked it into touch. Just for the uninitiated, if you're outside the 22, the ball has to bounce. It just showed that on the pick and drive, they, um, you know, they, they did well. Got one good, out the line, red, one out the good line. yardage, targets for the other forwards. He's just got to make some inroads into the Welsh defence first before they throw the ball about, because the Welsh defence is very well organised. Islanders shortening the line out. This is Schwalger, who's overtaken Trevor Leota as the Samoan hooker these days, and all oh, that was loose, and it's picked up at the back by Jones, the skipper today. Infield to Horseman. That was a big tackle on Horseman by Var. We have another look at that, but... Um, Wales continue to press with the try scorer of a minute or so ago, Mark Jones. All feet. Phillips. It's the ball out from underneath his feet. Well, they've got numbers on the right hand side. If they can uh, Keep rolling. Thank shift you. it outside shoulder of Rabini. No hands, back feet. Thank you. Phillips to Sweeney. Delicate little chip, which Lingiri runs onto. Tackle by a combination of Parker and Sweeney. Back feet, back you go, six. Rallini waits. This is PC. I'm not sure that Rambini was expecting that. He was caught on his heels somewhat. Sarah Rambini on the left wing, and although he got there eventually, it wasn't the brightest kick, and it's a little communication breakdown there as Kevin Morgan clears the touch. Gone all right. Guard's good. You've got the line red. How many sides? The line not really... Uh... Four. Four. Still waiting for his first liner. Wales win. Gareth Jenkins, heartbeat of um, Flanetli and the Scarlets for so many years. One or two wondered if his time had come and gone in terms of coaching his country, but there he is now in charge of operations and watching on. Another line note gone. Popham to Thomas. This is Hook. Bouncing ball. And Morgan couldn't collect it. Geary, who's seen the ball a lot Run to away. Ratuvu. Kameli Ratuvu, the, the replacement. Right, future predicted for him. We'll see what we'll do over the next hour or so. This is Nili Latu. Good Bantage play there, forward. very good play by Sonny Parker. Had, forward on the floor by had to make that tackle on the drift. Red. Watch him. Had to get to him, tries to offload and tackle Latu, loses the ball. There's another injury, Pacific Islanders are one on the ground. What stopped head injury? Well, it's interesting to see. It's not a head injury because there's a pack of ice on his guts. What is it? Is it his head? His chest, okay, thank you. Captain, the last of him in a well shirt. He um, retired from the Test Arena a year ago. He said he'd fallen out of love with Test match rugby. Talked about setting up a restaurant, but he's falling back in love with Test match rugby, and he did well there, Sonny Parker. Yeah, it's been for the Ospreys this year as well. No ball, wait, wait, no ball, no ball. No Midway no through ball. the first half, Crouching 20 half. minutes gone, it Wales is. 10, the Pacific Islands nil. Only score of the match, only try of the match, converted by Mark Jones. The kicks from this man, Kerry Sweeney, who finds the ball back inside to Mike Phillips. Lovely break from Morgan, over the 10 metre line, now the support. Yeah. Thomas is there, but the ball was knocked backwards by Run Nili Latu. Down, no, 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 wait there, wait there, wait there. Islanders think the ball is theirs, and it is. Rambini, delicate kick for a Gotta big be careful, man. Yeah. The ball 
ball is bouncing dangerously and it needed to be taken by Reese Thomas and it was. Back feet, fella. Thank you, prop. Phillips to Sweeney. Opt not to kick, decides to use hook. Lovely balanced runner. This is Mark Jones who's come in to offer some support on this right hand side. Phillips cuts inside. Nelly Latto again there with the tackle that was needed. Raluni, turnover for the Islanders to TCPC, driven on by Rambini again. Raluni to PC. Oh, that was a chase up. Runner charging through. And it was a chase Red for Lomi Fartau. I haven't seen much of Fartau so far in this match, but one of the deadliest finishes in the world, given the opportunity. It, it's a shame, really, that that ball went over the touchline, because if that had gone you know, behind the try line, that would have been a great foot race between um, you know, Fartau and uh, Mark Jones. Two real speedsters. Also the top try scorer in this season's Super 14 and when you're playing with the likes of Joe Rokothoku and Doug Howlett and Bertie oh, Takiri, that is not a bad accolade to have and Wales will know all about the threat posed by Lomi Bartow. already formed, then you collapsed it. Collapsing more, penalty to Wales. More was formed, you had players around you and then it went down. Marks out of 10 so far. Well, they'll be happy with the scoreline, 10, 12 to 20 minutes. Some kind of pattern, you know, we're trying to spread the ball, but I think, again, some of the Welsh forwards need to carry a bit of the ball because there are far too many Islanders, you know, out in the defensive line, just tighten it up a little bit, but a go forward and then spread it. The Islanders, well, you know what happens when there's a Patlan, Shane Howarth. Pat Lam, amazing record, been involved against Wales on six See occasions, 1-6. The ball was loose at the line-out, and look at Latu, got there first. He's a kind of Neil Back-style open side flanker, not the biggest, but he really punches well above his weight, and he has cult status back home, and he worked hard there to win this ball, which Sarah no, Rambini, the Leicester back, drives over halfway. This is Tipoli running straight no, through no, Chris Horsman. Right. For the Otago Highlanders, Tipole, to see PC back Duncan inside to Justin Vaughan. Duncan Jones in the First outside centre position. Now Sweeney's rushed run to cover him there. And that's where the, the no, attacks no, no, of the no, gone. Turnover. Phillips thought he sensed the gap, but it was filled by Camelia Rotuvu. He sensed that that might have been forward, but um, Wayne Barnes, the referee, happy. Up to halfway. Duncan Jones' work was amazing on the field as a prop forward. You see? Oh, it's intercepted! And James Hook, we hope, will score lots and lots of international tries in his career. Very few will be as simple as that one. An interception and a stroll to the posts. Well, that just shows what a clever footballer he is. He saw him winding the pass up and he read it so well. Very easy deception try for James Hook. Just watch. Ball comes out. He's winding his pass up. There's a big gap there. And he's just going to stroll into the hole. The pass hits him, really. Very, very simple try for James Hook. Just watch him. He winds it up. James Hook knows it's going to be a long pass. There's such a big hole there. And that is an easy run in for James Hook. Read it very, very well. Second try. In the early days of James Hook's international career and the try converted by the number 10, Kerry Sweeney. Three out of three for him so far. Wales have two tries. And I think they'll be very, very happy with this start. Yeah, very happy. Look at that. He winds the pass up. Just reads it very well. Plenty of talk as to whether he should play at 10 or 12. He's played plenty of times at 12 for the Ospreys this season. And his try, James Hook's try, means that it's Wales 17, the Pacific Islands nil. Committed. Just look at that possession of 63, territory 64. Get out of the way, 40. 
which which means really every time they've got the ball they're trying to do something desperate with it and the west defense is coping very very easy with it at the moment i've had a sense that um, the islanders have struggled with their line out let's have a look they are struggling with their yeah. line out yeah Mahalo Schwalger has got to be more accurate yeah. than that. They've lost only had four, four days. Lost four of them, No five. They've lost another one. It was taken in by Rob Sedoli. Trying to keep those line-out calls as simple as possible, but at international level, they're being picked off at the moment. And Lee Byrne beneath Swansea Osprey. Off that booming left foot clears the touch. Also um, very subdued, aren't they, in the tackling uh, department? Haven't seen many bone crunching hits so far, and usually that lifts the side. Very, very quiet. See how this one goes. It was a real stretch for Tipole to get the ball back on the white side. It's the halfway line. Schwalger, the hooker, muscles his way forward. Raluni to to see PC who spots a gap between Hook and Thomas. Now this is an opportunity. Driven on by Salala Mapasua. Can they do from this? Rambini goes down the blind side. Nili Latu in support. The support needs to be there quickly, and it is. Railuni. PC. Good tackle. Big, big tackle. And Daniel Leo. This is Tipole. Puts his head down. No takes on right. Alan Wynne Jones. Still Islanders ball, little chip ahead from PC and Nili Latu's onto it, and so is well Morgan. Well read, Kevin Moore. Uh, well, Kevin Morgan. you could see what Latu thought of it. It wasn't a bad effort from PC. There's the chip. Well played. He was trying to con the referee there, but he was um, nowhere near it as Nili Latu got his hands down. Here we are. As the ball comes out, stop it there. These two are far too wide, and the gap just opens up down the middle there. They've got to be slightly tighter. In he goes. Inside ball, but good scramble defence by Mike Phillips. But don't want that to happen again, Wales. It's okay, you won't buy numbers. Thomas with the throw. And it's one at the tail by Jones. Sweeney to Morgan. Lovely flat ball. Morgan goes through and oh, it was so close to finding Mark Jones again, but one or two itchy fingers and the ball bobbled forward. Lovely skills, that is. Those passes made the the, the runner run onto the ball. Superb passes. The pass nearly beats Rabini. That is a desperate tackle. Just get to him, but very good play. Wing play by uh, Fatal. No hands, Red! Back feet eight, move. Back you go, nine. There somewhere, it's cleared away by Lomi Fartau. Now watching on in our studio, Ryan Jones. Going to plan so far, Ryan? Yeah, things are looking looking pretty good. Um, I think we need to uh, look in from up here. I think we need to focus a bit more and get a bit more structure into the game and a bit more direction because the concern is that. We seem to be going one or two phases and throwing 50 50s, or maybe just trying to force it a bit. Uh, where do you think we can take our time? Oh, that was great. Talk all week about using the ball off first phase possession and using it effectively. And it's a defence that's only been scrabbled together this week, but it was split open very easily. Yeah, lovely ball. He holds and holds and holes and holes. Goes through the holes. Very, very simple. Very simple. Great weighted pass. 
Superb, easy, easy, easy. And the conversion, a simple enough one for Kerry Sweeney. 100% so far. And Wales now have three tries in this second half, and they have 24 unanswered points. There we are, it's a lovely pass. It's the first pass that makes it. <laughs> Wales, 24 up. It's interesting to hear Ryan talking about the need to get the basics right first, but even without necessarily establishing that, they are still cutting big holes in this defence that's been cobbled together this week. Similar to Tito is working hard to get the ball back. But this is James Hook. Side to Phillips. Someone needs to act as scrum half, and it's picked up by Michael Owen. Shifted his six foot five and eighteen stone frame into the second row this week. Normally a number eight. Wales defending the ball. Sadoli making sure that Phillips has clean access to it to feed Sweeney. We get the distance on that that he would have wanted, and it um, get the scrum half Moses Rylooney plenty of time to gather. It was a good take by the Saracens man. Take the scrum, team going forward. So and as a result of that take, the City Islands will have the scrum. No intentional. As the ball comes out, we just slow it there. Here's the player. Stop it there. He just holds it up, he does there, and the hole just opens up very late. You know, for uh, Parker to run through, just hold and hold. They've drifted very early. Simple try. Simple, simple try with a late, late ball from Kerry Sweeney. Should we come sideways, gentlemen? Gentlemen, should we come sideways? One of the pallets has just come up. Come a bit closer. Stay square for me. Wait! Come down, crouch, hold, engage! It slipped again, sorry gentlemen, the pallet's just come up. We move that out of one. You hear gentlemen, this coming again. Barnes, the referee, just talking about the pallets coming up, and it is something that I know the Millennium Stadium are very That's concerned about the longer, quality of the longer. pitch at the moment, and it is really tested at this time, at scrum okay, time, when it's in, churned up by a Crouch couple of tons hold. of raw Engage. beef. The bosses are doing something about it. They're going to um, bring in some infrared lights to promote the growth of the roots, but for the time being, the poor old grass, which doesn't see much light, is taking a bit of a battering at the moment, and this is a big tackle on Mapasua. Terrific tackle by Lee Byrne. And Mapasua is used to handling those himself, but um, too many of the supporting players came in off their feet, and that's the reason for the penalty, but um, a terrific tackle. Byrne upending Mapasua. Yeah, Mapasua and Byrne just spots it, comes in. Lifts the leg in the tackle, puts him on the ground, and falls for Wales. And no, like in the ruck. Up, is it? The whole pallet moved. I still hear Wayne Barnes chuntering on about that pallet. They're all in. That is something specific in? about this stadium, the fact that the grass is brought in on those metre square pallets, but the fact that no, a new stadium struggles with the grass growth isn't new. Driven on by Mapasua, terrific ball inside to the replacement, Rotuvu, and he's still going, and it needed to be a big tackle by Morgan, and it was. Otherwise, Rotuvu would have been away, they'll have the penalty, the Islanders. Number seven, straight in at the side. Well, great pace, great angle. First time they've been really, really cut from a set-piece play. Now, Tusi PC wondering from Simon Rivalui what the call will be. I would have thought, kick to touch. TCPC. Oh, they're going for the scrum. Well, considering the success rate of their line-up, Nick, you know, I think you'd want to go scrum, wouldn't you? And the scrum has been holding up well. Mike Casey, the Auckland scrum coach, has had them working hard on the scrum machine this week. And they feel they can at least hold the Welsh in this position. Pitch is turning up. Well, you really, you know, feel... They need something now, don't they? 
Make sure we bind on his body. Got to be next to score. They've got to try and have something before Hold, half time please, just to give him a bit of an impetus for the second half. Gentlemen, it's all turned up again. Can we just crab in, please? The players are struggling with their footing here. The Australian struggled last week. As I say, the Millennium Stadium's bosses are off to Holland next week to look at these infrared lamps, which will promote growth. Twickenham uses them. Arsenal's new Emirates Stadium uses them, and Millennium Stadium about to use them. Lovely ball inside to Sarah Rambini, who is big and difficult to stop. Best opportunity. The Islanders have had all half, but they've lost the ball. The ball was burgled away, and Sonny Parker was amongst those who managed to smuggle the ball back and Kameli Rotubu and his island mates have to start from deep again Saracen takes the tackle on the 10 meter line he's still going now he needs to roll back and try and get the ball back on the white side he does it well finds his teammate Rylooney that ball was knocked forward by Not you, Captain, Tusi PC. and Wayne Barnes is going to have a word now. number seven in at the side number three stepping across his path next one give me no option okay Kick there, kick there. Not now. Gavin Thomas and kick Chris there, Horseman Simon were the, the two names that pulled into the referee's office. Seven and three. You know what happens there? There's a bit of a left hook there by uh, Nili Ratu. No, it's not, sorry. It was um, T Pole, I think it was. T Pole. T Pole, is it? Nili Ratu doesn't have any hair. T Pole oh, has I enough know. for five. I know, so. Uh, from a, a top shot. Well, it was. Paul axed he was, not. So I'd, there's a left hook to the, the chin. Definitely uh, receiver, T. Paul Paul axed and as he T. Bones. And you know, maybe the sighting officers will want another look of that later on. And this is another one for Justin Vine. Vine's there. Now we're going to have another look, but Justin Vaar thinks he scored. Yes or no? Well, he's up, and he thinks he's got there, and usually with the reaction of a, a player. It's a good tackle to get him over the touchline from there. They try their best. Try. And it was a combination of Gavin Thomas and Lee Byrne in tandem. Uh, between them, That's they couldn't really stop debut, the bulk of Justin Var, the Samoan prop, scoring the Islanders' first try, we presume. But um, again, George Clancy in the van in the car park will make up his mind, and well, this is the best shot. Does try. he touch the corner try. flag before he gets ball the ball down? down and the answer's no. Ball is down first. One more look. Watch his leg and the flag. Do they come into contact before the ball's down or his arm? I think the more times you see it, the good element of doubt that it puts in your mind, I think. So you can see that the ball's down, he scores. His left elbow might be an issue as well, but the well, ball is down before the elbow hits. Well, I think that Lee Burner's arm hits the flag anyway. Just watch. No, there's elbow it's the flag the the Welsh player so the flag is out to play anyway because it's not there could be a try Wayne thank you you may award a try thank you very much and again it takes some time but we get there well, and the Pacific Islands well, well, will not worry how long it took Justin Vaar scores their first try it's 24-5 as we bear down on half time to see PC the most inexperienced member of this squad he was a, a late replacement for Auckland's to Cesar Levea he kicks the North Harbour that wasn't great so it remains a five-point score but the Islanders are on the board Justin Vaar will have something to remember what Successful line out. You've got about two minutes to play. Simple play, really, just breaks. Lovely break, good support, and he's away. And by the skipper Simon Rywell Lewis. Make sure back feet. Hugely popular, popular figure at Vicarage Road, Rywell Lewis, and 
remembered fondly as well no, from his days at Newport. Keep Still running, lots please. of friends in this country. No, He's an absolute monster on the pitch, but one of the gentle blokes off it as the Samoans again give the interception try and Lee Byrne will scuttle in around the posts for the second time. An interception try costs the Islanders. Mapasua was the man looking for the breakout wide and Lee Byrne took advantage. And again, the wounder pass. Look, you can read that like a book. They've defended well and you read it well, you get the rewards. Two very, very easy interception tries, really. Daniel Leo comes in, but simple try. First time he's been picked on the wing to start a test match, and he has a test match try. His second, and Kerry Sweeney finishes off proceedings for the first half with another kick. 100% record from the boot for Kerry Sweeney. And Wales have scored four tries. Lee Byrne with the fourth, Kevin Morgan, James Hook and Mark Jones before him. Just one for the Pacific Islanders, that effort from Justin Vahar. And at half-time, Jonathan, it's a 26-point gap. Well, you can see they've been uh, thrown together, very, you know, thrown together, not much uh, practice together. And, you know, they've thrown the ball about very, very loosely and they've paid the penalty for it. 31-5 at the break. Well, it's 31-5 here in the Millennium Stadium. Jerry, what do the Islanders have to do to try and turn this round? I, what they've got to do is play a bit more sensible rugby, just be a bit more straightforward, be a bit more classic, as in line, win your set piece, be steady. They've got big guys who can hit, hit up the middle and then play their fancy stuff from there. They just need a, a bit more pattern to their game. OK, let's cross back over to Jonathan Davis and Nick Mullins. Yes, I suspect um, one of the watchwords in the Islanders dressing room at half-time might have been honour. They're playing for their honour today. It's uh, an historic day for Pacific Islands rugby, something they'll remember for the rest of their lives, and they need to stand up in the second half. Yeah, another thing they've got to do is stop throwing missed passes for intercept. That's another thing. <laughs> it's a little easier to sort yeah, out, it actually. Is, yeah. Just hang on to the ball. One thing, I've got to say that uh, Wayne Barnes had a good game as a referee, not the most uh, intense uh, game, maybe, but, uh, you know, he's handled it very, very well. Good tackle. There's Thomas on Rambini. Now hands away. The Welsh tackling has go, no. by and large Back been go good. Free. They were worried, I think, a little bit about the defensive positioning against Australia as much as anything in the first 20 minutes a week ago. They had words about that, the midfield in particular. But um, well, against some big hard runners, they've held water. And this is Morgan over halfway Clear again. Pass. Thomas up on his shoulder in support. Popham over the 10 metre line. Getting the ball away before the contact comes, which is what they're trying to do now. And it's a terrific ball inside to Lee Burton, who's still going. Strong, forceful run by the There's Osprey. Before, no Great start. It's got to go wide. Thomas decides to reset. Having done that, he's got to squeeze the ball back on no, the red no, side. Turn over, over. Go, switch right. on. Seven, back you go. Move, he move, hasn't managed up. to do that. Rylooney, there's his Rylooney, the... Saracen scrum half feeds to Tusi PC and PC off his right boot finds touch. But a bright, energetic start for Wales in this second half. Very good start. And um, we mentioned Mark Jones looking sharp. Lee Byrne as well putting his hand up. Very, very strong run. Great hand once again. Shows pace, power, good step, ball retention. Doesn't panic, goes to ground. And really, if I would have gone wide, that could have been another try. Jen Athletic, Ton D class, played a bit of rugby league as well. Captain, your call. Ball wasn't straight in the like line outs. It is one of the concerns about Reese Thomas please. that he doesn't perhaps have the accuracy of Matthew Reese. The Nathalie Scarlet's counterpart. It was the reason that Gareth Jenkins was saying last week that. He lost his place before the Australian match. It's something that he is working on. And something that you can work on, and uh, you know, he's a very good player. He's developed very well over the last two seasons. Very agile, very quick around the park. 
Very powerful, good ball carry, and um, yeah, it's a great fight for that number two jersey for well, us. It's Thomas playing in 11 consecutive tests before he missed the Argentine tour. Please. Big cheer, by the way, was um, the score from Twickenham. Argentina Nothing leading wrong. by 12 points to 11, which um, for some reason has pleased the locals. No, play on, play on. I, don't, I don't know why. Match kicked off at the same time as us, a half two kick off in southwest London. Tusi PC inside to Halle Tipole. No, no hands. Raluni. To PC, Rambini tried no, to find Mapasua, decided no, to no, hang no, on no, to the no, ball. No, Leicester no. and London Irish combining in midfield for the Pacific Islands. PC inside to the try scorer. Good tackle. Bar, big tackle by Popham. Five move, five move. Oh, I think it was Alleman Jones actually. Was it Jones? Tackle, it was, yeah. Someone's yeah. got their finger on the button. Can they take it off? This is uh, Nililatu. No, no hands. <laughs> now then, Mapasua the goes on his own and the defence suddenly went AWOL. And Salala Mapasua, despite the early pressure from the Welsh, scores the first try of the second half. Salala Mapasua went through a yawning gap. A little bit of obstruction there on Kevin Morgan, but he knows he's going to score. Oh, he is delighted. So what you want, look. It's a lovely dummy inside. Love last the ball, great ball, and they recycle it. As the ball comes out, boom. Overlap there. Try. That's why he arrived in the Guinness Premiership with a big reputation. Arrived from Otago last month. He was part of the New Zealand under 19 side that won the World Cup here in Wales in 1999. Good signing for London Irish. And um, well, it wasn't the toughest of tries for him, was it? In truth, but uh, no. it needed to be finished, and Mapasua finished it. There's a PC. little bit of obstruction, though. Not intentional, but just what they needed, really. Something to fly the flag about. You see. From a higher kicking tee, he swapped his tee during the kicking session yesterday. A lower tee wasn't working. Let's see how the high one. Maybe they should swap the kicker. Yes. Yeah, it's been in, so. Here we are. It's a lovely break. And it's the offload that makes it. Throws it to me. Latu comes in, gets inside of Duncan Jones, and then flips the pass. And as the ball goes gone, they don't panic. But just stop it there a minute. Just keep an eye on these two here, okay? Run it on. Kevin Morgan goes out. He goes out. A prop really gets in his way. And that's a try. Not intentional, but uh, just a prop forward doing his job. Getting in the way. Five. It's now 31 10. And Wales from the kickoff are pressing again. Picked up by Rambini. Run away, eight. My feet. Right, Looney goes on his own, the experienced 31-year-old, but um, will come back for an earlier knock-on. The Islanders will have the scrum. Well, it's the um, 50th Test match at the Millennium Stadium. I remember the first was against South Africa back in June 1999, this wonderful arena celebrating its half century of big matches today and it looks as if for the first time in nine months Wales are going to mark that 50th match with a win leading as they are by 31 points to 10 and that's an interesting kick and Mark Jones is watching this with interest jumped with Fartau the ball was knocked on by Jones but there was an element of the gamble about that Jonathan well yes 31 10 though no you need to take a gamble Total control wheels. Hasn't won a match yet. Not far away from breaking that duck. Alan Phillips on the left, the team manager, and 
Who'd have thought? Roland look. Phillips as well on the four right hand forwards. side. Look, the, 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 the brains of Welsh rugby, four forwards. Incredible, isn't it? Robin McBride. No, I think they'd be delighted with the situation at the moment. You know, the way the autumn has gone, they'd have been disappointed at not beating the Australians. You know, this is a should be a good result for them. And then Canada and the big one at the end, New Zealand. PC. Lee Byrne being challenged and well challenged by Rituvu, chased him down well, but Byrne manages to slip out of the tackle. He was knocked on. The Islanders will have the scrum. Just, where's now? One thing, they don't want to get ragged and drawn into, into this uh, game of an open free game. They need some kind of structure and pattern to it. Let's go. Stay on seven. Come on. Of a retreating scrum. The Islanders get it away to Mapasua, linking neatly with PC. Run away, no hands down. Yeah. Latu making sure that the ball was available, and the referee Wayne Barnes getting in the way of Ryan Looney temporarily. Little kick into space, which Kevin Morgan was aware of. Always keen to expand from his 22, but now he needs the help of his forwards to win it back. Hands away, White! No, 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 White! Hands off! Hands off! Simon, back you go, please. Right the overlap here. Yeah, Jones inside to Popham. He has Sonny Parker inside, and Hook is calling for it outside. Mike Jones inside. Matthew Silla makes the tackle. Still Good they ball. go, and Sweeney scores. The breakaway from their own half. Sweet hands. A sweet try for Kerry Sweeney. Great play. Lovely ball. Pop and reads it well. Inside. Sonny Parker adds the injection of pace. Mark Jones, he thought he was in, but a great tackle by Mapusa. But Nice offload, Sweeney, good support, but I get his reward. There's the injection of pace, that's the crucial part of this movement, lovely ball. Jonesy thinks he's in, tap tackled. As I said, great reward for good support, simple. And off the pile of sand, Kerry Sweeney adds the conversion, and Wales have a 28-point lead because of this try. Yeah, post come. Mark Jones thinks he's in. Has the awareness to offload. Simple try. And that's what happens on, from an offload. Defences. Totally at six and sevens. Exploited. Wales 38, the Pacific Islands 10. And oh, Kerry Sweeney has done well. Difficult job for him. Stephen Jones injured and James Hook having made such an impression last Saturday. And a lot of pressure on Sweeney today. Yeah, and he's responded extremely well, Kerry Sweeney. One stop, please. Number eight, White. Islanders eight making white. A, a replacement. Relative, well, you may recognise Epi Taioni, the Tongan back rower, now playing Just his club rugby in Japan, but a well known face. He used to play for Sale and for Newcastle. She let sail under something of a cloud. He was suspended for biting, given a long ban, and he decided that uh, he would leave honourably. But um, it's good to see Epi Tioni back in these shores, and he replaces Ale Tipoli in the back row. And it, um, Shane Williams is gearing himself up to come on for Wales. Five white! Five white! There you go. Mark Jones is the man who will be brought off for Williams. Meantime, here goes Hook inside to Gavin yes. Thomas, runs straight into Sarah Rambini, which ought to carry a health risk. And Wales are shifting the ball pleasantly Everybody's now. Done. Lee Byrne comes inside just over the 10 metre line. Taken on by Sadoli, ever present in the last two Six Nations tournaments. Back involved today, Sweeney. He's barely put a foot wrong. Inside to Hook, Sonny Parker dances inside. Phillips to Morgan. 
And move He's right wrapped up, but he makes sure that he turns so the ball comes back on the red side. Phillips to Owen. And run away, no hands, no hands. Lots of possession, not much progress at the moment. Phillips to Thomas, and there was obstruction, two players bumping into each other, and a lot of huff and puff, not much of a result. And here's the substitution we were talking about. Shane Williams will come on to win his 41st cap. Tries in his last two tests against Argentina in the summer and Australia last week. Mark nice Jones, who scored his try. Played very well, I think, Mark Jones as well. Brilliant attack, brilliant attack. It's good. Great to see Mark Jones back in the international come arena. In, in, Terrific in. finisher. Let's go. Oh, when it gets ahead, you see that often. Oh, that's unusual. It's a new look. Back Pacific right. Islands front row struggling, and Wales looking to make the most of it, but it's all broken down. And Phillips, in the end, has to sweep up, and they couldn't make the most of that. And now uh, Phillips and Lomé Fartau having a word with each other. It's quite handy with his mitts. Old Mike Phillips. Comes from a family of uh, boxers, so it's a little nudge. Instead of leaving it go, comes looking for Three. it. Three. Go. In the a sense that the Islanders' lineout is beginning to operate a little better with Mahonri Schwalger throwing in. This is Epi Tayoni. Free kick. Given Seno Satiti still on the deck, getting himself back up now rather gingerly as Rauluni feeds PC inside to Mapasua and Lomi Fartau coming in off his win. We've not seen much Keep of rolling. Fartau no, no, no. in the match and the ball Go. went forward, but it went forward because uh, the Welsh were knocking it back themselves and interestingly a bit of back Number chat. Kick the ball away. Yeah. Roll away in the tackle. Reese Thomas kicked the ball away and that's the reason that they've lost 10 metres. I want to turn the round ball game, who'll be watching that with interest. Have a chat with the referee and it will cost you 10 metres and it might cost more as well because the yellow card is now very much an option. The international board, the game's governing body, are very, very keen to cut out any kind of descent. Lee Byrne, a little bit of cramp. And Wayne Burns, for the time being, keeps his card in his pocket. Now then, can Tusi PC yeah, hit a kick? Yeah, In oh, fairness, he hasn't even been close with the no. first two, has he? No, this should be Gents, you're breaking up quite a lot. Quite an know, easy kick for him, really. Tusi PC. Sorry. He was practicing I'm assiduously yesterday. Is all that work about to become three points? There have been more attractive kicks. But they still just were worth three points, and PC has his first. It's 38 points to 13. Intermittent. The second biggest cheer of the day. Greets the news that it's England 10, Argentina 19, as Adam Jones comes on, and Chris Horseman, who might have been playing in that match at Twickenham, but opted instead Horseman to play for Wales rather than England and Horseman's done his job and Adam Jones who's one of the unsung heroes really but he's been yeah. anchoring that Wales scrum for two or three years now very very effectively might be a very different atmosphere at Twickenham at the moment I believe I'm glad you're yeah, enjoying it thank you. Right, yeah, we'll as are 55,000 others around here We're back underway <coughs> with the match that we're concentrating on at the moment. It was taken in by Dan Leo, keeping England's Joe Worsley out of the Wasps team at the moment. Now Looney to PC to Rambini. Driven on by the replacement Tyone. This is better stuff from the Islanders. Nili Latu up to halfway. Does well to get the ball back inside to Lingiri. And they are 
linking up impressively at the moment. They've driven the ball 50, 60 metres. Rotuvu almost up to the 22, but the ball spills loose. It's still there. And Michael Owen has to chug back to make sure there is no danger. Oh, that's what they can do, isn't it? Turn it very, very quickly. Hold on. Yeah, go on, Matt. is about to change their Quite hooker. Worcester's Aleki Lutui is warming up as Shane Byrne gets some ice treatment from the physio Mark Davis. Yeah. I and think, there's uh, replacement, Schwalger going off. Yeah, has not the most successful day at, uh, at the line out. There's Lutui, experiencing his first season in the Northern Hemisphere. He threw the darts in against Leicester last weekend and he's on now for the Islanders. Dan Leo, 23rd man when Wasps came here in the Power Gen Cup semi-finals, as it was the back end of last season. He's thrilled to be playing today, and they're marching their way up the touchline, the Islanders. This is a good spell of pressure from them. Looney to PC, this is Mapasua. Ball out wide, and this is looking very, very good, and they'll score the try, will they? It's a terrific try, Kameli Rotubu. He is a very, very quick guy, isn't he? Oh, a bright, bright future predicted by all of those in the know in the South Seas, and we can see why. That was some finish from Kameli Rotubu. Watch him, wide ball, one dummy runner, one miss pass, it just gets on the outside. Great pace, inside ball, and again, it's, this is all down the pace. Sonny Parker thinks he's got him covered, so is Kerry Sweeney. Lovely feet, power and pace. This is it, he gets on the outside of Kevin Walker, but it's the pace at which he hits the ball, surprises Sonny Parker, and a change of feet and angle gets on the outside of Sweeney. What a great finish again. Pat Lamb. And Shane Howarth have a bit to chew on. It's wide out on the left hand side for PC. Game, you know, breaks up a little bit, gets a bit looser. That is what they can do. Ooh, great kick. Well, all of a sudden, yep, he's found his kicking boots. And uh, it's a seven point try. And uh, Rotuba, who's been a regular with Saracens this season, and uh, well, the club's South Sea Islanders, and there are plenty of them, lobbied the club to sign this man, and we have a little glimpse there of why they were so keen to get him. Great feet. Great, great feet. And they're not going to play conservative now, are they? Sweeney. Rips up the line. They don't want to be loose now, they don't want to kick loose ball away, because these boys will go and go and go. Oh, is that a high tackle? It's uh, Latui, who I think is going to have a word with the referee, is he? It's Rambini. No cards, it's okay. Just be careful. One in the first half, that was reactionary. Next one gives me no option. Next time it will be a yellow card. And here it is. And there's the intercept. Yeah, just a grab, nothing else. Okay, when you're ready. will try and push this as close to the 22 as possible. He didn't really have much of an angle. A oh, moment for Gavin Evans, the Flanetli Scarlet Centre. This is his debut. 22-year-old who's been busy bursting holes in opposing defences this season. Yeah, played really well for the Scarlets this year. Boy from St. Genech. 
Well done. Congratulations, got it. Captain! Owen pulling the troops in. Secondary That's drive right. comes on and Phillips delivers to Sweeney. Inside to Parker. Dances his way through. He had the support of Evans. Already in the thick of things. And a Welsh international, Gavin Evans, and lots and lots of impressive reviews coming from most of the games he's been playing in this season. And this is going to be a great attacking position for Wales. Something that they do on the training paddock should happen here. Strum, scrum. Dictate which way they're going to go. Fantastic position to attack. No, crouch and hold. Engage. Wales with three backs seven, on the left and three backs on the right. They go to the right. Phillips. Oh, oh the it. ball was knocked on by Sonny Parker. Advantage over. We'll play that. Yes. Yawning hole. Terrific opportunity. And Sonny Parker, who hasn't done much wrong, didn't do that right. And this is Kevin Morgan trying to re-establish the situation. Terrific run from Morgan. Great pickup. By Thomas. Reece Thomas. Yeah. Great skills. Phillips. They come left. Back to Jones. This is the new man, Evans. Taken on by Popham. Phillips again. Sweeney. Evan Williams. This is Morgan. Little chip through. Looking for James Hook. But uh, Norman Lingiri was aware of the possibilities, and this is Mapasua. You can see what he does. Difficult to bring down. Ball. <laughs> Not backwards by Rhys Thomas. You took the man without the ball. And the penalty goes against Alan Wynne Jones, okay. the Osprey, for taking the man did. without the ball. And a breathless passage of play will end with a penalty. Yes, when you won't be happy with this. Pushed off. Big step. Oh, off Rhys Thomas. What a great pick-up, what a bit of skill for him from a, from a hooker. Reese Thomas is tracking him, up, half volley, good off-road as well, good play. There you go, <laughs> Take the man by the ball. Well, let's go down to the touchline for a South Seas perspective. There he is, Inoki Afiaki with uh, half a foot in Wales, yep. half a foot still in the South Seas. What are you seeing, Inoki? Yep. The, the Island boys are now playing, uh, they're getting the ball through the hands and uh, they're running some really uh, good ball carries in there, they're um, hitting the ball at pace, so when they do make the tackle line they're going forward and they're, and they're, they're producing faster ball for the, for the backs to, re, to reuse again, so now we're seeing more of the type of play that, um, that I came here to watch today. Um, the Welsh players haven't, haven't, haven't stopped playing as well as they, they started the game with, so it's, um, it's now, if, if we could start, like, start, start the game again from, from scratch, this would be, this would be good. <laughs> yes, they're in. <laughs> well, well, we can ask. Let's no, start again. No. You'll notice the substitution, Ma'ama Molotika. The Tongan lock is on for Dan Leo. And this is Thomas to pop him. The back row is combining and James Hook clearing under some pressure from Nililatu and under some pressure gets a very, very good kick away. It's 10 or 12. That's what um, Gareth Jenkins and the crew will be chewing on over the next few months. And some yeah. talk as well that maybe Gavin Henson could go to fullback to accommodate both Stephen Jones when he's fit and... Uh, and you forget about Kevin Morgan, don't you? Well, it's not a bad position to be in, is it? No, it's uh, no. a real sign of the increasing strength yeah. of depth here. Exactly, just picking the right combination, isn't it? Here goes Mapasua to the substitute who came on very early on, Kameli Rituvu, the Saracen. To see PC intercepted, but the ball was not forward by Rhys Thomas in the end. Again, nearly an intercept. Now it counts as a knock on, but that is nearly another intercept. Good first scrummage, thank you. Good first scrummage, thank you. Good first scrummage. 15 minutes to go. Lots of statistics no in the bottom left hand corner. Stay up, lads. No ball, no ball. But as always, the only ones that really matter are the top left hand. Stay up. And they say that Wales Still lead no by 38 Still points no to 20, Still and we're no into ball. the last quarter of an hour. Still no ball. 
come down. Crouch hold. Engage. Let's go. This is an area that um, the Islanders have held their own in. There's been one ball against the head, but otherwise that's no, been pretty fine. sound possession no, for them from the scrum. Go, hard work on the machine leading up to the match. There's no doubt they will improve, you know, as the, uh, the autumn series prolongs. As they go to Scotland and Edinburgh next weekend, and then they help say goodbye to the old Lansdowne Road as an international venue. They play Ireland last weekend in November. A couple of weeks for Pat Lamb to work with the boys and they hope that this is the start of a long road for this new entity the Pacific Islands Samoa Tonga and Fiji coming together it's the way that these players will get better and start to challenge the best in the world like Wales on a more consistent regular basis that's the plan anyway the uh, international board are working hard to promote that development as well They've uh, set up this summer a Pacific Isles Five Nations Tournament. Samoa, Fiji and Tonga all involved. Japan and the Junior All Blacks make up the quintet. So the smaller nations are being given the chance to shine as the changes continue to be rung. That's Tavita Tamapeo, the Worcester prop who's gone off. He's been replaced by Census Johnston, who will be playing for Saracens at the end of this little autumn run for the Islanders. Meantime, we're back underway. This is Sweeney to James Hook. And again, it's, uh, it's been another unhurried, unflustered afternoon from that young man. Pacific Islands to look forward to, plenty for Wales to look forward to as well. Canada are here next Friday. It's on BBC Two Wales if you live in these parts. If it's not, then uh, press the red button, it'll be on interactive. Gareth Jenkins and Wales continue their rebuilding before New Zealand come here to finish off the Invesco Perpetual Autumn programme. Number two on the ball. Penalty against Rhys Thomas. Preventing the release of the ball, as you heard Wayne Barnes explain to us. It's a busy operator in the loose, isn't he? We've been talking about the accuracy that you need at the lineup, but he yep. offers so much out wide and puts a tackle in. Doesn't roll away, does he? It's very difficult to, to think that he can't can roll away from there. Quite a reputation for himself when he was with North Harbour. First season, as we were saying, with Worcester. Try line is not far away. The ball was not forward. And Wales will have possession at the scrum. I don't think now Wales will want to finish with a, a bit of a, a blast, you know. feeds the scrum I don't think he's going to be on much longer because Gareth Cooper is warming up on the far side and another substitution about to be made some defensive work though before all that can happen linking up nicely this is Rambini acceleration was provided by Seremiah Bai who's just come on as a replacement dangerous bouncing ball but it won't count the referee's whistle had gone a long time ago and uh, Moses Raluni's moment of glory is denied. Yeah, clear knock on by <laughs> Ravini. Looking to offload again the tackle. This is the awkward bounce. Oop. Poppin drives through. Enjoyed more international recognition since moving from Leeds down to Flanetli a year or so ago, and 
he seems to be much more than an impact player these days. That's how coaches seem to view him. A couple of years back, but moved back from the Premiership, working back home. And winning plenty of international opportunities these days, Alex Popper. Now three substitutions. Hugh Bennett is on. Gareth Cooper is on. And it was Jonathan Thomas as well, just creeping in left. There's Gareth Cooper and his first appearance since England in the Six Nations at the start of the year, Gareth Cooper. He's on for Phillips, confirmation on the screen. Michael Owen off for Jonathan Thomas. And Rhys Thomas off for Hugh Bennett. Welcome return to Test Match Rugby for him as well. He's had a couple of years in the cold. Recalled for the summer tour to Argentina. And Hugh Bennett, the Ospreys hooker, gets his go against these muscular Islanders who haven't given up into the final 10 minutes. It's just 18 points. It might have been much more, but they've not been falling away so far. And Wales are still in a match. So you see PC. Oh, what's he doing here? He had to work very hard to find Sarah Rambini. And Rambini's tackled by Parker. Ball runs loose. This is hook. Cooper to Morgan assesses the options decides to reset the ball Cooper Shane Williams Steen red shirt and white shorts suggests he's not been overly busy since he came on and there were and the reason the ball came back on the Samoan side because there were hands in the rock there we are, look, you want more possession in the second half with the uh, Pacific Islanders. Territory is edging in that department as well. Yeah. He was practicing that yesterday. He's played really well today, isn't he? He's been yeah. solid, Kerry Sweeney. Controlled the game very, very well. He's, he's, he's bossed the game, and that was, that was yeah. the challenge laid down, wasn't it? And, Familiar face, Neil Jenkins, the world record point scorer. Yes, he's worked have, hard uh, with Sweeney, and um, well, he's worked with, reward. Yeah, with all of them, you know, he's uh, a great asset. Too much management. His controlling of the of the game and his goal kicking were fantastic. The yeah, Islanders have changed their scrum half. Junior Polu Nana is on for Moses Rylouni as well. Has continued to attack with. Alan Wynne Jones, who would have enjoyed his first match in Cardiff. And still they drive. All on his own. Cooper to Sweeney, all lining up to the right hand side. Sonny Parker cuts back inside and just shoves off the challenge of Seremiah Bai. Shane Williams to Duncan Jones, back to Williams. Oh, and if the ball could have come out, they will have the opportunity. They still might. Williams inside to Hugh Bennett. Lovely Ooh. sidestep. Or an uncompromising challenge from Latui, hooker on hooker, but the try line is still there for Wales. Ball's coming back on the red side, Cooper to hook, assesses the options, Thomas being held up by his opposite number, Nili Latu. Crowd urging them for at least one more score before we all go home, it might come via Morgan, inside to Sonny Parker again, he straightens the lineup. Cooper runs without the ball. Oh, clever yeah, play. Clever play from Jonathan Thomas. That's away. Between his legs to keep the move going. Cooper to Bennett. Back me. Cooper again. Really testing the Pacific Islanders' defence. Williams. Oh, nice play from Alan Wynne Jones. But, um, well, they'll come back. There was a forward pass. There was a penalty before then. Again, lots of movement. I think this could have been for a, a late tackle. There's the forward. Yeah, he's away. Watch his skill from Jonathan Thomas. Whoop. Great pass. Great pass. Yeah. And I think uh, someone's walking. There's a great tackle. Bennett thought he was over. Poor laxed. Watch stop, please. 
I think once he gets up, he's going off. Yeah, go and stretch on the bench. Too easy peasy. There we are. Yeah, I still got you. How long to go? Yes, the warning was clear from Wayne Late Barnes. They have ten. had two warnings and two CPC takes it for the team, really. His late tackle was a late tackle too many. And the Islanders will spend the last five minutes of this match with just 14 players. And they've got some reshuffling to do because the fly half has gone. And keep an eye on how they respond. They've got some defensive work to do, first of all. Hugh Bennett with his first race since coming on and finds Rob Sadoli and now the drive will be attempted by the Welsh pack. Defence was there quickly, waiting for it. Hands away, White! There's the ball! Back you go, keep rolling, White! Hands away! That's the try line. Hands away! No hands, White! Hands off, 19! Cooper waits. Sweeney, ball inside, oh, and it was very, very nearly a debut try for Gavin Evans, but the, the move is still alive. Morgan, who continues to busy himself. Cooper to Sonny Parker. Johnson going through the process of working out his man of the match at the moment. Somebody here could win the honour with something special. Will it be this man, Kerry Sweeney, out to James Hook. Morgan again, oh, there's a lovely pass from Morgan to set up the opportunity. It was a big, big tackle though from Epi Tyone. Yeah. And Morgan is still down. And I wonder if Wayne Barnes will want to have a little word about that. No, he's all right, I think. Kevin Morgan saw him come in, just had a little glance at him. Watch this, give and take. Well, he sees him come in. How many? Ooh, if that's not high, Jonathan, I'm not sure what is. Uh, he's, he was going down as well. How many? Just watch. Yeah, yeah, took a bit of a clout in the back of the head. Okay. He's all right, though, I think. Watch his stop, gents. He's right on top of the plate. Most importantly, Wayne Barnes thought it was all right, and Kevin Morgan is back on his feet. Two man. Two man. The longest of the Pacific Islanders, though, and they remember are defending a man down, and they go long. Find Lily Latu. Stay back, feet. No hands. Not the floor six. Well, into the final five minutes of this match. I'm rolling away, Red! Keep rolling! Waiting. Jimmy Roll away! Hands away! Scrum half. Back feet, waiting. Not a problem. I'm rolling 19! Polinano feeding Tyone. Rampini. Go. Oh, neat play. Chipped on by Rotuvu. If he can gather the bouncing ball, there'll be options here. Fartau challenging Evans. And well played. Oh, Evans did very well, but still the threat's there. Needs to get the ball back on the red side. And Wales scrambling defence. Got themselves out of a Careful. hole. This is Cooper. Half thought about running. Kicks into space. And finds touch. Thank you very much. I'll find out when they all get here. Full line. Oh, I can't remember the last time Jonathan agonised over a man of the match quite so much, but um, who is it? Yeah, I think uh, a couple of names, Duncan Jones and Kerry Sweeney have played really well, but uh, for me, the Invesco Perpetual Man of the Match today has been... Sonny Parker, he's got a solid game defensively and attacking. He put a bit of uh, pace onto every foot, movement. On, no, Organised defence. So it is Sonny Parker, and here he is. Could have been running a restaurant. He's still playing Test match rugby for Wales, though, and winning Jonathan's vote. And Shane Williams bounds on Kerry Sweeney, who must have been very close. Lily Latu with the big tackle on Jonathan Thomas, and that hurt. Latu punches above his way, and the penalty against the Islanders for not rolling away, taken quickly by Cooper. Hook takes the tackle, and has the presence of mind to find Morgan. 
Hugh Bennett over the 10 metre line, needs the support of Sweeney, cuts inside, Sweeney going, Shane Williams with the ball, it went forward. We'll have a look at that again, but Wayne Barnes was well positioned, a rueful smile from Kerry Sweeney and Williams denied. You'd have thought there Sweeney it comes in. I don't think that's forward. Let's have a look at this. This should show, shouldn't it? Tries to fend in, looks for the offload. Well, if that's oh, forward, that's what is he been? Where was Wayne Barnes? Well, it's ironic, isn't it? Because we all criticise referees and touch judges these days for not giving clearly forward passes, but um, well, on that occasion he gave a forward yeah, pass for yeah, one that was clearly backwards. As, uh, as Jerry said, the forward pass no came to no Mark ball, Jones' no try, so uh, you know, he equals itself out, doesn't it? Come down, Into the final English. half a minute let's here go, in Cardiff, go. and Wales are half a minute away from a job well done. Difficult, awkward, muscular challenge has been provided by these Islanders, and they've come through it. Seremiah Bai trying to go out with a bang. Next time the ball goes dead, now run away, Wayne Barnes ought to blow the whistle to signal the end to proceedings. Rambini, the Islanders won't want to kick it into touch. Latui drives on. Run away! Not the side. Can someone take Colin that finger off the button? Run away! No Takes hands. them up to the 22. No. No, no hands! Colin Nahn up. No hands now! Not in the side eight, wait eight. We've got a long way to go. Another 75 metres. Hands away! Is that time? Um, Is there time for one more you. sevens moment of magic? From a team that haven't ever given up in this match. There were signs they were struggling early on, but they've really come back into it. Taken on by Norman Lingiri. Made the way into Welsh territory. It's taken a minute to do it. I'll have the penalty. Simon Raiwalui, the skipper, who's not let them stop running. Taken on by Rotubu. Now then, break from Junior Polunana. He's rather short of numbers as lungs begin to burst. Census Johnston bursts in. No full back here. Let's have a look for the kick. Seremaya Bai back inside to Rituvu. Rituvu still goes back to Bai. Is, he, is, is he there to be a moment? Oh, two tackles. Jones, Adam Jones. Had to get to him. Jones and Morgan right, combining, right, but they've gone from six, one right. end of the pitch to the other. Incessant, ambitious play, and right at the death census. Johnston knocks on. Oh, Wales going to. Uh, well, trying to do something similar. Outcome of the match, not in doubt. It would be a great way to finish, wouldn't it? Cooper. Run away, no hands. <coughs> they go left, they score. If they go left to Shane Williams, they could score, yeah? No, one way. Thomas. Sonny Parker, the man of the match. Popham, into it. touch. And the sound of the whistle to signal the end of the match and the smile on the face of the man of the match will tell you that Wales have won by 38 points to 25, tries to three. And that was a solid enough performance. Yeah, very solid. They'd be very happy, all the Welsh players, and more importantly, all the Welsh management. And uh, a lot of players have put their hands up for selection for the remaining two games of the uh, Autumn Test Series. So, selection dilemmas for Karat Jenkins. Slightly disappointed with, uh, with the Pacific Islanders because, you know, I thought they'd come here with a, you know, a, a better effort, but they have been thrown together and they will get better, you know, each week. So... Yeah, very, very happy uh, camp. Look for the Canadians and then the New Zealanders. Wales have won a test match for the first time in nine months, for the first time since they saw off Scotland here in the Six Nations. And Gareth Jenkins, the new coach, is finally 
a winning coach. They've seen off the Pacific Islands by 38 points to 20. Well, Ryan, it's a win. 38-20 is 31-5 at half time, of course, so possibly not the tri-fest we expected from Wales in the second half. Was it? No, it uh, kind of deteriorated, didn't it, as the second half went on and things were a bit scrappy, you know, there was... There was no pattern to it. it, it you know, we, boys would try in throwing 50-50s and stuff, and unfortunately they weren't coming off. But you know, we've got to take the result. You know, the boys would be over the moon with that, and some people put their hands up with with good individual displays. The fact that Wales leaked a few tries something they should worry about, Jerry? Uh, not really. I, you know, they, they won comfortably in the end, and the Pacific Islanders got stronger, which should be good for them. But Wales, another step in the right direction. Okay. Well, Wales did win the Invesco Perpetual Trophy. It's about to be. Presented now, so let's go back down pitch side. I don't know what to do, ask me. Was it a concern if they linked in the team? Sonny Parker, congratulations. You must be relieved that you've reversed your decision to uh, quit Test Match Rugby and come back with a win. Oh, no, definitely. Like, I really enjoyed it. You know, it's quite a fast-paced game out there. So the Pacific Island boys played really well. You know, fair, fair played, and they came out, wanted to play some rugby. It was very hard to defend, you know what I mean? We had to chase it from side to side and everything. So it was a very quick game for me, and I haven't played a, a game like that for a while. So it's really exciting for myself. And it's the first victory for Wales in seven test matches. So how relieved will this squad be to get back to winning ways? Oh, no, it's excellent for us, you know what I mean? Especially the squad here. It's, like, there's a young team out there. And they had, uh, like, like a lot of guys had to prove themselves today. And personally, I thought they played really well. Well done, Sonny Parker. Invesco, perpetual man of the match. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Duncan Jones, don't disappear. Captain of Wales today, many congratulations. A cracking performance against Australia last week. Did that give you the confidence to come out here this week and play so well? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the start of the Australia game, Australia came out and they really caught us, but, uh, you know, the squad showed their spirit there. Um, and, you know, that built us in for a bit of confidence this week. There's a lot of competition in the squad and uh, I think we just developed on from last week. You refer to competition for places, it's really bang on now, isn't it? How conscious are the players of having to step up to the mark every time? Yeah, I think, you know, it's a good environment to be in. You know, the squad gets on well together, you know, but when it comes to selection for the jersey, you know, everyone's trying their hard to get in the starting team, so it's a good environment to be in and, uh, you know, just long may that continue. Canada next, and then, of course, the big one against New Zealand. How confident are you, Duncan, that it might be an unbeaten autumn for Wales? I think, you know, we have to take each game as it comes. We have to take Canada first, you know, that'll be a big challenge. Um, and that'll be a step on then to the All Blacks, who are obviously in good form. So we take it every game at a time and just try and build on our performances. You are in good form. Well done, Duncan. Thank you very much. Cheers. Well, you know, you think competition for a place in this team, Ryan Jones, is tough. Sonny Parker comes back from retirement, has a stormy game, man of the match, it's even got tougher now, isn't it?